All right, today's I can is I can add and subtract decimals. And adding and subtracting decimals is very similar to adding and subtracting whole numbers, except for you have to be very extra careful to line up the decimals. So I'm gonna put that in red. Line up the decimal. Okay, um, we'll do two problems, one addition, one subtraction. Before we do those problems, let's look at two quick words, sum and difference. So sum is the result of an addition problem. So addition, difference is the result of a subtraction problem, subtraction. Okay, let's do uh, three. Three and eighty-two hundredths plus four hundredths. Now, when we add and subtract decimals, we have to line up the decimal. So if I have two numbers, I'm going to line up the decimal. Three in the ones, three ones. Eight hundred, or excuse me, eight tenths, two hundredths. My four tenths does not go here, it doesn't go here, it goes here because this is the tenth spot. Now we know just to make it easier to add and subtract, we can add a zero here because four tenths is the same thing as four hundredths. Two hundredths plus zero hundredths is two hundredths, eight tenths plus four tenths is twelve tenths, so I'm going to have two tenths down here, can we rewrite the one or the 10 tenths, the 12 tenths, the one as a whole. So it's four. I'm bring down my decimal. It's four and 22 hundredths. So that's adding. Let's look at subtraction. Let's use the same values, but instead of adding them together, we're gonna subtract them. So three and 82 hundredths minus four tenths. Again, you're going to line up your decimal because when you line up the decimal, you automatically line up the place value. Three ones, eight tenths, two hundredths, minus four tenths. And write in that zero after the four because four tenths and forty hundredths is the same thing. Two, four, and your decimal, three. Now, one thing I want to show as a non example is lining up the digits, not the decimals, and we'll see what happens. Let's try the addition problem with lining up the digits, not the decimals. So this is a non-example, so do not do this. Non-example. So if I had three and 82 hundredths and I did not line up the decimal, I just added it to four tenths. I lined up the digits. First of all, I have no idea where to put the decimal because one's over here, one's over here. I'm adding a hundredth to a tenth, so I get 386. Where do I put my decimal? My numbers are all wrong. This is a non-example. When you're adding and subtracting decimals, never line up the digits, line up the decimals, then the digits will follow through. Because when you line up the decimals, you're lining up the place value. Here you added two hundredths to four tenths, which is incorrect. You have to add each place value. All right, and that's all for adding and subtracting decimals.